Hey y'all, today we're making the Angolata from Trader Sam's. So the Angolata actually isn't a Trader Sam's original cocktail, and that's not a bad thing, uh, but it's basically a rebrand of a Zach Overman cocktail from Fort Defiance in Brooklyn called the Angostura Colada. And you'll probably notice both those names kind of sound a bit like a pina colada. And that's because it really, at, at its base, is a pina colada. It's pineapple juice, coconut, um, and some rum. The big difference with the uh, Angolata or the uh, Angostura Colada is that the base spirit actually isn't a rum. There's only like a half ounce of it in there. Uh, the base spirit is Angostura bitters. The thing you only put a few drops in your cocktail because it's so strong. We're gonna use this as our base ingredient. We're gonna put an ounce and a half of Angostura bitters in this cocktail. Um, and if you've ever just like shot some uh, Angostura bitter, I don't know why you would put it in your, I've done it. You'll, you'll notice it's a really bitter, intense, like baking spice flavor. It's horrible on its own. Uh, but when combined with all the other ingredients, something really magical happens. And it's the reason why it is the most interesting cocktail at Trader Sam's, my personal favorite cocktail at Trader Sam's if I'm ordering on menu. Um, and, and it really is a good example of what modern tiki drinks taste like, uh, where they're a little more spicier, they're a little more interesting, uh, maybe a little more bitter and less fruit forward. The, the, the recipe I'm using today is from Minimalist Tiki. It's got Zach uh, Overman's recipe in here, as well as a bunch of other people. Um, I think you should totally pick this up if you're even half interested in, uh, in making tiki drinks. Um, this and Smuggler's Cove are basically the Bibles, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to uh, uh, tiki drinks or rum drinks in general. I'm not getting paid. I'm certainly not sponsored by them, but I, I really love these books and I think you should pick them up. All right, let's get started. First thing, we need one ounce of lime juice. We're just gonna cut our lime in half. We're going to squeeze out one ounce of lime juice. Now, cream of coconut. Um, I'm using uh, Simply Squeeze Coco Real. Stuff's really great. I like it because it's in a squeeze bottle. Uh, technically, Coco Lopez, I think, tastes a little better, but it comes in a can and it's not resealable. You have to put it in another container. And I think this stuff does the job just fine. So we're going to squeeze one and a half ounces cream of coconut. Now, if you're making a drink with cream of coconut, uh, use that first because uh, it's going to stick to the inside of your jigger and you can use the other liquids to kind of wash it out. Pour that in our mixing glass. Okay, next up we need pineapple juice. I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, Dole, but Trader Joe's pineapple juice is really great. I like the small cans because uh, I don't have to crack open something huge just for one cocktail. Whatever one you're using, be sure you shake it up. Crack that open. And we need two ounces of pineapple juice. And now the rum. It's important that in this cocktail, you use something really vibrant. Uh, the, the recipe calls for an aged pot still rum or a Jamaican rum, uh, specifically Smith & Cross. It's a high proof rum at, uh, they call it Navy strength. It's almost 60%. It is literally my favorite rum. I love it. It's funky, it's weird, it's delicious, um, but you need something flavorful to hold up to the Angostura bitters, the coconut and the pineapple. We need one half ounce. And now the star of the show, our base spirit, Angostura bitters. Uh, we need an ounce and a half. What you're gonna wanna do is there's a little stopper in there that allows you to do dashes. Uh, if you don't take that out, you're gonna be doing dashes in your jigger all day. So just take that out and pour yourself an ounce and a half of Angostura bitters. And be sure to put that top back on because uh, uh, if you don't, you'll forget you didn't and you'll go to put a couple dashes in your cocktail and you'll dump Angostura bitters everywhere. Uh, definitely done that a few times. Into our mixing glass. We're gonna fill our mixing glass with crushed ice. And we're gonna give it a really good shake. Because there's cream of coconut in here, you have to shake it real aggressively to get that all incorporated. When the cream of coconut gets cold, it wants to solidify. So shake it like crazy. All right, so now we have a very thick layer of ice formed on the outside of our tin. We are done shaking. For glassware, uh, at Trader Sam's they use like this bamboo shaped highball glass. I don't have any of those, but uh, Zach Overman uses a brandy sniffer 
in his Angostura colada, and I think it looks really cool. So we're going to pour our cocktail and all that crushed ice into our container. For garnish, we're going to use some palm fronds. Pull these out of that pineapple. Just gonna shove them in there like that. I have a little dehydrated orange, uh, which goes a long way in kind of making this a really interesting looking cocktail. And now one of the most important ingredients, grated nutmeg. Don't use the pre-ground stuff. Get yourself a whole nutmeg and a mic microplaner and just make it rain on top of your cocktail. Not only will this bring a lot of aromatics when you bring the cocktail to your nose, it also just looks really cool. Now we add our straw. And that, my friends, is the Angolata from Trader Sam's. Let's give it a taste. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> it's just so good. It is, I'm sorry, I know I have like a, a big grin on my face, but this is one of my favorite cocktails. And it's definitely my go-to cocktail at Trader Sam's if I'm ordering on menu, because it is so different. When you, when you take a sip, um, the first thing you get is like a mouthful of baking spice. And then you get like the cream of coconut and the pineapple juice that cuts through and kind of in the back is that the funkiness of the Smith and Cross rum. But it all comes together into something that's greater than the sum of its parts. It's such a fantastic example of modern tiki. Because traditional like Don Beach or Trader Sam or Trader Vic's cocktails don't taste anything like this. They're much more fruity forward. This is just spicy and rich and different. I, I cannot encourage you enough to make this drink. None of the ingredients are particularly uh, hard to find, at least here in California. Uh, so please make it. And if you do, comment down below. I want to hear from you. I want to know what you think if you try and make these cocktails. Or if there's some cocktail you want to see me make on this channel, comment down below. I would love suggestions. Um, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Liking helps other people find uh, these videos and subscribing makes sure you don't miss uh, any future videos. Until next time, mm. cheers.